Welcome to this educational video where we're about to uncover some of the prevailing challenges that maintenance and operations teams encounter on a daily basis and how to tackle them effectively. My name is Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. I've been in your shoes and understand the struggle. In this video, we'll be sharing some practical steps that can significantly enhance the reliability and uptime of your equipment. So, Stay tuned as we explore some game-changing ideas that will transform your maintenance operations. Every day, maintenance teams around the world face tough challenges. They arrive at work, uncertain of what they'll face due to equipment, reliability issues, and more. But there's good news. By implementing a few fresh ideas, maintenance teams can significantly improve the reliability and uptime of their equipment. Let's start by understanding some of the common problems that maintenance and reliability managers face daily. First, breakdowns are frequent, and the causes are numerous. Second, there's often not enough maintenance being performed, as cutbacks usually hit the maintenance staff first. I know these problems can be frustrating. I've been there myself. As a former maintenance supervisor, I had to understand the true state of my program and develop a plan to overcome our primary obstacles. These included preventive maintenance on equipment that continues to break down, planners constantly chasing parts, not having enough staff to complete daily work, and seeing the same repair issues week after week. But don't worry, I've got four steps that will make a large impact on the maintainability and reliability of your equipment. Step one is to upgrade the reliability and maintainability of your assets. Here's the process I followed to achieve this goal. First, identify the most critical equipment in the worst condition with production management. Develop a plan with your crew and production to upgrade this equipment. Identify all the problems with this equipment using all available techniques and technologies. Implement or ensure maintenance has a fully functional maintenance planning and scheduling role. Execute your plan together with production and your crew, ensuring that all repairs are made using effective, repeatable procedures. Once all of the work is complete, commission the equipment using as many predictive maintenance technologies as possible. Finally, post a sign on the equipment that states, warning, maintained equipment in this area. Trust me, the results will shock you. Step two is to identify where you are and where you are going by using simple metrics that measure effectiveness. A great example would be if preventive maintenance compliance is above 98%, but the equipment continues to fail. It doesn't make sense, right? That's why it's important to use a line graph that shows the correlation between preventive maintenance labor hours and emergency labor hours to measure preventive maintenance effectiveness. Step three is to use maintenance dashboards to manage an area or function. Develop a maintenance dashboard that has a live comparison of specific key performance indicators which validate each other. To build the dashboard, begin by identifying three questions that you would like to know the answer to on a weekly or monthly basis, which would confirm or deny all key performance indicators are accurate. The final step is to create and manage the plant with a plant scoreboard. Post the plant scoreboard on video monitors or charts in the plant in all production areas and in the maintenance shop. Before we wrap up, let's quickly go over some definitions. Wrench time refers to the time your people are actually performing proactive work. Preventive maintenance are actions performed on a time or machine run based schedule that detect, preclude, or mitigate degradation of a component or system. Planned work is the percent of work orders which have all the defined fills filled in. Thank you for watching this video. We've covered some key concepts such as the importance of upgrading the reliability and maintainability of your assets, using simple metrics to measure effectiveness, the use of maintenance dashboards, and the creation of a plant scoreboard. We hope these ideas will help you transform your maintenance operations. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more resources and tools to help your maintenance and reliability teams be more successful, visit our website at upkeep.com. Remember, don't strive to be world-class, strive to be the best you can be.